Okay, so let's continue our discussion on game theory. In the previous video, we discussed how to construct the normal form of the game. In this video, we will analyze the games or simultaneous games based on the normal form. Okay, we mentioned that we want to get the best strategy of each player in the game. However, the best strategy is dependent on various perspectives. These are the maximum solution and the Nash equilibrium. Okay, let's first describe the maximum solution. The maximum solution involves choosing the strategy that gives us the maximum out of our worst outcomes. In other words, we are trying to get the best out of the worst. This strategy was proposed by the mathematician John von Neum. The idea behind maximum solution is if a person tries to avoid the maximum penalty or the maximum damage, he or she may employ this maximum strategy. This gives us the best out of the worst outcomes. Now let's discuss how to get the maximum strategy of the player. For our first example, let's describe the maximum strategy for the players in this game. It's called the working on a project game. Suppose that you and your classmate work together on a course requirement, and each of you can choose to either work hard or take it easy. You both want to pass, but you do not like working very hard. Assuming that the two of you would meet tomorrow to combine your outputs. Determine the maximum strategy of each player. Now suppose that the normal form is already given here. The values in the normal form represent the happiness or satisfaction level. For instance, if the role player you decide to work hard and classmate decides to take it easy, then the happiness level of the role player will be zero and the happiness level of the column player is three. Now, how do we get the, the maximum strategy of the row player and the column player? Let's first describe the maximum strategy of the row player. If the row player decides to work hard, there are two possible outcomes, getting a two or getting a zero. Between the two values, the lower is zero. So this is the worst that could happen should the role player decides to work hard. If the role player decides to take it easy, the values of the outputs are 1 or 3. Between these two values, the lower is 1. So that means 1 is the worst outcome should the role player decides to take it easy. Now, out of the worst for player 1, the best is 1, which corresponds to take it easy. So this means the maximum strategy of the row player is take it easy. Let's put that in oval. Now, let's describe the maximum strategy of the column player. If the column player decides to work hard, the, output, the outcomes are 2 or 0. Between these two values, the smaller is 0. So this means the worst for the column player is 0 should he decide to work hard. On the other hand, if the column player decides to take it easy, the outcomes are either 3 or 1. Between these two values, the lower is 1. Okay. Now comparing these two, comparing the worst case scenarios for the column player, the best is take it easy. So this is the maximum strategy of the column player. Let's put this in oval. 
So in this case, the maximum strategy of the column player is take it easy. The maximum strategy of the row player is take it easy as well. Therefore, the maximum solution is take it easy, comma, take it easy. The first one corresponds to the maximum strategy of the row player, while the second one corresponds to the maximum strategy of the column player. The payoff corresponding to the maximum solution is 1, 1, which is here. So, we have analyzed the game working on a project using maximum solution. Let's try another example. This time we have Battle of Sexes game. Suppose on a given night, a husband could either watch a sports program or a TV series. The husband prefers the sports program while the wife prefers the TV series. The worst possible thing to happen would be to have an argument and not watch together or at all. What should be the husband's uh, strategy? Determine the maximum solution of this game. So suppose that the normal form is already given. The values in the normal form represent, represent a happiness level or satisfaction level. For instance, if the husband decides to sp watch the sports program while the wife wants TV series, then each of them will get 0, 0. If the husband decides to watch the TV series and the wife also wants TV series, then the husband will get 1 and the wife will get 2. Now let's see if the husband the role player has a maximum strategy. Now, if the husband decides to watch the sports program, the outcomes are either 2 or 0. In this case, the worst is 0. On the other hand, if the, if the husband decides to watch the TV series, the outcomes are either 1 or 0. Okay, the worst is zero. Now, notice that for the worst case scenarios for the husband, we have equal values. Because of these equal values, we see that there is no best. Hence, there is no maximum strategy for the husband. The reason for this is we have equal worst case scenario values and there is no highest value. Similarly, if you check the wife, you will see that there is no maximum strategy for the wife. If at least one of the players does not have a maximum strategy, then the battle of sexes game does not have a maximum solution. So because the battle of sexes game does not have a maximum solution, we have to analyze this game using others' perspective, which we will discuss in the next video. Now let's try another example. This time, let's get the maximum strategy or solution for the prisoner's dilemma game. We have constructed uh, the normal form of the prisoner's dilemma game in the previous video, and we have this one. Now, let's analyze the maximum strategy of the role player. If the role player decides to confess, then he will get either negative 10 or negative 1. Between negative 10 and negative 1, the worst is negative 10. If the role player decides to remain silent, the outcomes are either negative 25 or negative 3. Between these two values, the worst is negative 25. Now, between negative 10 and negative 25, the best is negative 10, which corresponds to confess. So let's put that in oval. This is the maximum strategy 
for the role player. Now let's analyze the maximum strategy for the column player. If the column player decides to confess, then the outcomes are either negative 10 or negative 1. Between these two values, the worst is negative 10. So we have negative 10 right here. If the column player decides to remain silent, then the outcomes are either negative 25 or negative 3. Between these two values, the worst is negative 25. Now, out of the worst case scenarios of player 2, the best is negative 10, which corresponds to confess. Let's put that in oval. So this means that the maximum solution is confess, comma, confess. The first one corresponds to the maximum strategy of the role player, and the second one corresponds to the maximum strategy of the column player. The corresponding payoff for the maximum solution is negative 10, comma, negative 10. So this means that if a player wants to avoid the maximum penalty, he must decide to confess. So this ends the discussion on maximum solution. For the next video, we will analyze the game based on Nash equilibrium.